what is going on out there good people and welcome back to lmd trading where i am living my dream trading i am coming back for a, another daily trade recap um just finished up the daily trade recap for april 17th um don't think i'll actually get any trades in during tomorrow's trading session which will be 4 18 but because of how the um, futures market operates after 6 p.m any trades that you take count towards the following day so came on line looked at the charts and took a couple of trades and i think i am done for tomorrow but i don't know this thing is setting up i might let's flip this over real quick let's flip it over to the main screen real quick i think i'm gonna take a trade real quick y'all i'm long in q you see it down here on this chart um i'm playing this because it's breaking over this key area right here y'all let me switch this over to NQ so I can kind of monitor, I can kind of manage it. <clears throat> I'm just looking for a quick pop up to the top of this yellow line. What's that, 700? I might add one right here. I think I'm gonna add one right there. I'm looking for this to pop back up here to 700, y'all. I'm gonna put a stop, put my target right there. Let's watch and see how this plays out. I don't like how it actually looks on the NQ chart though. It looks better on the MNQ chart, um, but I'm looking for a quick pop back up here to um, 700. And I'm going to get my stop right up under that. Once it makes the move, you'll see me lock profit in. I'm expecting a quick pop. Right up to 700. We can make about a hundred bucks on this trade. I'll be happy. Hey, one more quick pop. Let's go. I'm going to lock this. Um, I think I'm going to lock 95 in. All right, there's the move. Target nice quick trade. Um, if you look at the chart down here, like I said, it has room on the MNQ chart, but it doesn't have room on the actual NQ chart. And that's why I have both of them pulled up. Um, but nice quick little trade right there to pad the account for tomorrow. I was basically logging on real quick just to review these two trades that I took. Um, I took a short here, looking for this to come back down. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'll put a mark on the MNQ chart, just so you can kind of see where it's at on the MNQ chart. Oh, and that thing just ripped through the level. It literally just ripped through the level, y'all. But let's mark this real quick. So looking at the MNQ chart, that's where I took a short at. And I wanted to see this come back down. I'm going to drop another diamond where I trail stopped out. So I trail stopped out about right there. So this had made the move down. But notice the difference in pictures. Now, I did not have this chart on this screen at the time. I keep NQ on a different screen, so I wasn't looking at it 
at like looking at it like this. Otherwise, I probably would have gotten out. Watch what I put the arrow on the upper chart. Look where it said on the lower chart. So I would have gotten out when this came down here, knowing that this should bounce back up. But I made a few bucks. I think I made like 30 bucks on this trade. And then I took a long after this came down off of this fast moving average and it held. And I took this trade for the break of this four hour level to see if it would just go. And it didn't. So now I'm going to drop the dots for that trade on the MNQ chart. So let's come on over and let's look and see where we were at. So we are getting in below it on the MNQ chart as well. But again, I'm playing this to break through there. And then let's drop a, another dot where we got out at on the MNQ chart. And I'm looking at MNQ's chart also because um, MNQ is a little bit more liquid after hours, but the NQ is going to kind of follow it. So that was my entry. I'm playing this to break, but look at what it does, y'all. It breaks and it comes up to the top of this MNQ channel and it pushes back down. And on NQ, it just makes that little pop. And then the next candle pushes up and it kind of rolls back over. So um, let's see. Yeah, now nah, we're getting out in that candle, though. NQ is going to tell me exactly where I got out at. So I got out 20, 34 and 12 seconds. 20, 34 and 12 seconds. Actually, no, look at that 20, 34 and 12 seconds. So I was getting out in this candle. As it had pushed up there. So solid trade, you saw how much we were up prior to taking that last trade. Let's scroll on over and look and see what this thing has done. And let's look and see where we got in and out on this last trade. And I am going to um, shut everything down. I am done for the for tomorrow. I was going to say done for today. I'm done for tomorrow, y'all. So got in right here, basically playing that same. Look at that almost identical entries. I just want to see this snap up and go. And actually the first entry, I'm sorry, because you see I put that lower one. That was, remember how I added on that pullback. So let me drop this one where the first entry was at, right there. So first entry, this kind of pulled back, pulled back to like this little money zone or fast moving average, and then it made the move up. I'm gonna drop another arrow or another diamond, I guess these are, on my exit. Exit it out right there. Nice push up. Nice push up. How many points is that? So I got out at about 699. It's one about, it's only two points, but I was in four contracts. So two points, $40. That was another $160. Am I mad at what I made? Nope. 295 already in the books for tomorrow. We're good. We are Gucci, as they say. On that note, guess what? We wrapping this one up. It's going to be a little less than 10 minutes. As always, thanks for checking me out. If you hadn't hit that like button, please do so. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing. And as always, we can continue the conversation in the comments. You see, I put them trend lines on my chart, and that is what I am going to trade. Those things have been killer. Um, both of those trend lines uh, were found on the one-minute chart. guess I should have showed that on the charts. I'm not going to flip back over. But I found those on the one-minute chart. The main area where the blue lines 
um, that yellow line was just a little intermediate level and you see how it's reacting to it so on that note have a good one if you're not using trend lines you might want to check it out you might want to see if that's something that might help your trading style your trading strategy um because i don't know what it is i call it magic i call it magic but on that note i'm out of here peace